Hi everybody, this is Terry Van Oy. Thanks for visiting my online math classroom, Math Class with Terry V. Parents, if you're interested in uh, checking out how I work live, um, real time with students, uh, please give me a call at that toll free number or go to my website, fill out some information so I can contact you. I offer the first lesson free as we check it out and I'll we'll see how, uh, how I teach and how effectively I can help and support your son or daughter. Students, this is uh, the problem set number one for our topic that we're uh, continuing on in this video series about factoring complex expressions. All right, let's take a look at the two topics that I've covered in some previous videos. The difference of perfect squares and perfect square trinomials. All right, so what I'm going to do is have you, um, you should have a piece of paper out ready to go. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of different sets of uh, problems to factor and I want you to recognize either of these two patterns difference of perfect squares or a perfect square trinomial and you try it first so make sure you hit pause and uh, go ahead and give it a try first here we go these first six for you to try are all difference of perfect squares so remember our plus minus pattern and good luck hit pause give it a try all right, let's check the answers. Number one, what we've got is um, 4R squared, perfect square, of course, it's 2R times 2R, and 25 is 5 times 5, and as always, we have the plus minus pattern, because when we use the FOIL method, that middle term drops out, so there you go. Number two, 5X plus 3, 5X minus 3. Number three is 3 plus 5B, 3 minus 5B. Notice how the variable could be the, in the second term. Here we have um, uh, to the fourth power, a fourth degree binomial there. Notice it's a squared times a squared, 5b squared times 5b squared, and then your plus minus pattern. Number five, notice how you would factor out a two first. So that reminds us of the rule that you look for a GCF first, greatest common factor. In this case, it's gonna be the two. Now if I do that first, Hopefully you have this on your paper already. If I divide a 2 out of each term, that'll give me u to the 4th minus 9v to the 4th. And then, of course, we have two perfect squares separated by a minus sign, and there you go. That's the rest of it. Number 6 is, as you can see, 3m squared plus 4n squared and 3m squared minus 4n squared. All right, I hope you did well. Let's take a look at another problem set. Number 7 through 12 are all perfect square trinomials, but remember, look for a GCF first. All right, click on pause, you try them first. All right, here we go, answers. Number 7, you're going to get 3x plus 2y, that whole thing is squared, two binomials multiplied by itself. Remember that the 9x squared came from 3x times 3x. 4y squared came from 2y times 2y. Now to test the middle term here, remember that it is double the product. So 3x times 2y is 6xy and you double it to make 12xy. All right, so operating in reverse, you check to make sure that that middle term fits the perfect square trinomial pattern. Here, as you can see, it's 4x plus y quantity squared. Number nine, again, make sure you match the signs of the middle term there. And it's u minus 3v quantity squared. Number 10, how'd you do? 5u squared minus 4v squared, that whole thing quantity squared. Again, you have a fourth power there. So it's u squared times u squared, v squared times v squared. Let's test out the middle term here. What's the product? 5u squared times 4v squared is 20 u squared v squared a lot of alphabet there and then you double it 40 u squared v squared number 11 2x squared plus y squared that whole thing quantity squared is the factored answer and again the product would be a 2 coefficient there double to make 4 and finally ah yes another GCF okay the 3 can be factored out so what does that leave us with? Well, that would be 9x to the 4th minus 
x squared y squared plus if we divide that by 3 that'll just leave y to the fourth all right then of course yes that is a perfect square trinomial and that's where we get that binomial squared all right congratulations thanks so much there's going to be another problem set coming up and we'll focus on difference and sum of cubes